This is the 10th and last video in the Kickart Basics tutorial series. We will keep posting more videos on advanced Kickart topics. So please subscribe to stay tuned. Your support and encouragement is very important to us. In this video, we will take a look at how to run DRC or design rules check and how to produce files that are required for manufacturing ECBs. DRC is a feature built into most EDS softwares where the software will check the whole design for any design violations. These design rules will include but not limited to minimum track width, minimum wire size, minimum clearance and so on. To use DRC feature effectively, you have to have the design rules set up properly. We will take a look at how to set up design rules for your design in detail in a later video. I have a design open here in PCB new and obviously it has a few intentional design rule violations to demonstrate the features. To run DRC, go to the main toolbar and click on perform design rules check button and a new window will pop up. There are a bunch of settings here um, that you can change but leave those values to its defaults for now. To start DRC, go to the right hand side of the window and click on start DRC button. As you can see here, Kickart went through a bunch of tests and came up with a list of design rule violations. There are two design rule violations in this design. To pinpoint the location where the design rule violation exists, simply double click on one of the entries in the list. Here there is a marker near the violation. Right click on the marker and select the violation and get the marker error info to see what exactly the violation is. It says track near part. If we take a closer look here, you can see that this particular track is placed too close to this uh, part. Please remember this should not happen to you in the first place because Kickart supports online DRC which will not let you place a track in violation to any design rules. But this can happen if you change the design rule after placing the track. So to fix the issue obviously we need to delete the track and reroute it properly and rerun the DRC. As you can see here, Kickart went through the same set of tests and did not find any design rule violations. Another useful feature available here is listing unconnected nets. To list unconnected nets, click on list unconnected button here and Kickart will go through the whole design and list all unconnected nets. To go to the location where unconnected nets exist, double click on the entry here. As you can see here, the net that connects part number 2 of this connector to the part number 1 of this IC is left unrouted. Let's go ahead and route this net and go back to the DRC tool to check if there is any unconnected nets left. So as you can see here, there is no unconnected nets left in the design now. Now let's take a look at how to generate files necessary for manufacturing the PCB. Go to the main toolbar and click on the plot button. The plot window will pop up and select the plot format that you want to go for and I'm using Gerber format here that's the most popular format and type in a directory where you want to place the result files or you can click on the browse button to browse for the directory. Next step is to select the layers that you want to generate Gerber files for. Now I have selected front copper, back copper, front silk screen, back silk screen, front mask, back mask and edge cuts. The names are pretty self-explanatory. There are a few options available here that you can change as necessary. We will leave all those options 
to its defaults for now. Click on plot button to generate the Gerber files and then click on generate drill files to bring up drill files generation window. Click on drill file button to generate the drill file. You need both the drill file and Gerber files to manufacture your PCB. Let's close the window and go to the folder and take a look at those files. As you can see here, there are a bunch of files generated by Keycard. The first file is the drill file and the rest of the files are the Gerber format files for different layers. Keycard includes a tool to view these files. The tool is called Gerb View. To open Gerb View, go to the main Keycard window and click on the Gerb View icon on the toolbar. Go to the file menu in Gerb View and click on Lower Gerber Files and navigate to the folder where you have the files saved. Select all the files and click Open to load the files. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned.